gang, one last trust problem that I'm going to leave you alone on trust is and you're on your own, okay? So last trust problem is, I'm going to call this the combo method. I don't remember seeing that in the book. That's because it's not in the book because I made it up, okay? But I'm here to tell you, if I'm going to give you a problem on a test, this is what I'm going to give you is a combo method problem. What this problem is going to do is it's going to test you on both methods, both the method of sections and the method of joints. So I'm really going to know that you know what you're doing if I put this on a test. So this says find the force in members IJ, CJ. Where is that? I, where are you? Here's IJ right there and CJ right there. And who else? CB. Okay, I got you. And CI. Ooh, yucky. That one up there. Okay, so if you remember from the method of sections, I can't cut that truss in half and, and cut through all four of those members of interest, okay? Can't do it. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use the method of sections. I'm going to cut it like right through here. Whoop. Use the method of sections and then come back and I'm going to go one more right there, method of joints, and get that last thing that I need, right? So I'm going to use the method of sections and the method of joints. What? In the same problem? Yeah. Okay. I left my recipe over there. This is the recipe for the sections part. Okay. The recipe for um, method of joints is very similar. Except we don't cut through the members of interest, we just isolate a joint. We can only cut through two members for the method of joints so versus three for the method of sections. And then uh, we draw the free body of the joint and then solve it. So, so I think what we'll do here is, number one, start off with, can you find global equilibrium? Now, so a lot of people are like, well, well I don't know what that is. Is that a pin connection? Is that a, what, what is that? Forget about what it is, okay? Watch this. It's a two-force member. Zip, zip, that's what it is. It's just a force pulling, right? So there's an E, we'll call it EX. Okay, there's an EX. And then over here at A, where's my, I'll do it in black. What the heck, I have it out. I am going to have an AX, and I'm going to have an AY, okay? AY is going to go up. Um, as this pulls, it's going to try and pull this off the wall, so EX needs to pull that way, so AX will have to go uh, the opposite direction. And whatever EX is, AX is going to be the same thing, isn't it? Okay, those two have to be equal to each other. So step one, let's do a little global equilibrium and see what we can find here, okay? So I'll take the moments at A, this being positive, okay? So I put my finger at A, and I get EX rotating me positive. So EX times 6, 12, 18. Okay. And then I get uh, the 3,000, which rotates me negative. So minus 3,000 times 4, 8. Minus 1,000 times 12. Okay. So what is that? 24,000 and another 12,000, that's 36,000. 36,000 divided by 18 equals EX equals, what is that? Uh, 2,000? 36,000 divided by 18 is 2,000. Okay, so that's EX. This is 2,000 pounds which that means AX has to be 2,000 pounds, okay? Because some of the force in the X, right? Stuff to the right has to equal stuff to the left. And then AY is pretty easy to find, right? Because AY is the up stuff and it has to equal all this down stuff. So this guy is 4,000 pounds, okay? So next step, draw the free body diagram of the easiest side. Well, I don't know. That looks like the bottom is pretty easy, doesn't it? So it looks like this. Okay. And what's going on here? I've got uh, 4,000 there. I 
I've got 2,000 here. Okay. And I don't know. That's it, right? Yeah. There's nothing else on there. And now I've got three guys here. One there, one there, and one there. Again, I'll guess them all in tension. Okay. And so this is, uh, this is IJ. Uh, this is CJ. And then this guy is a CB. Okay. So there you go. So solve that. Okay. Well, let's see if we can solve that. Let me erase this global equilibrium equation here out of the way. Okay. Oh, I don't know. How about the sum of the moments about point, that's point J there, and this over here is point B. How about the sum of the moments at J? Okay. Then I get the, what do I get here? I get the 2,000, which rotates me positive, 2,000 times 6 away, and then the 4,000 rotates me negative, times four away, and then CB also rotates me negative times four away, okay? So let's see what that makes. That makes uh, 2,000 times six equals um, minus 16,000, and then um, divided by four equals a negative 1,000. So CB equals negative 1,000 pounds. So what does negative 1,000 mean? Well, I guessed it in tension. I got a negative value, so guess what? He's really in compression. I'm gonna fix him, right? There you go, bam, bam, now you go that way. Okay, so there's CB. That's one of the things that I was looking for, okay? The next thing I can do is the sum of the forces in the X. And what do I need for that? I need this little angle right here, okay? Which is this angle right here, which is four by six. Let's see, six divided by four equals inverse 10 of that is equal to 56.3 degrees. So this is 56.3 degrees. So in the X, what do I have? I have 2,000 minus that guy, right? CJ cos 56.3 degrees. Therefore, CJ is equal to, oh, it looks like we're getting a positive number. So he's really and truly going to be in tension, isn't he? 2,000 divided by the cosine of answer equals 3606 in tension. There's another thing I was looking for, okay? And then I can come back, sum of the force in the Y, and get that last one. And in the Y, I have, um, oh, I have, I have 4,000. I have minus CB, which is 1,000. Then I have plus CJ, which is 3606 times the sine of 56.3. And then I have plus IJ. Okay, will I get a positive this time? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be positive this time. All right? 1,000 minus 4,000. Um minus 3606 times the sine of 56.3 equals, dun, 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 minus 6,000. So IJ equals 6,000 pounds, but I got a minus. I drew him in tension. He's really compression, okay? Okay. So there's three of the things I need. Now the last one I need is uh, this guy right here, okay? And that is uh, CI. So let's do a little method of joints on joint C, okay? 
Let's do that right quick and then we'll be done. Okay, so joint C. Uh, joint C looks like this. Okay, this is uh, CB, this is CJ, this is CI, and this guy is CD. Okay, so uh, CB was in compression, so there you go, he's a thousand. Okay, CJ was in tension, uh uh, so he's 3606. All right, and which way do those go? I don't know. Well, I tell you, no, I don't. I got up stuff, down stuff, I don't know. Again, let's just guess some intention. If we get a positive, good. If we get a negative, we got it backwards, so no big deal. Some of the force in the X. Okay, what do we have? Uh, what, where's our, where'd our angle go? I erased my angle. Oh, rats. Okay, that's this angle up here. Four over, oh, that's 45, isn't it? No. No, no, no. This is six. This is four. So six divided by four, 56.3, wasn't it? Six divided by four equals inverse tan. Answer equals 56.3, yeah. And this top one up here is six, four, right? So opposite is six. That's also, isn't it? Okay. So some of the force in the X, I have CD cos 56.3 plus CI. Now CI is completely in the X direction. And then plus CJ times, well, and CJ is 3606, sorry, 3606 times the cosine of 56.3, okay? There's one equation, and then the next one, some of the forces in the Y, all right, what do you get there? In the Y direction, that's the up and down stuff. I've got a thousand going uphill, and I've got, ooh, CJ going downhill, so minus 3606 times the sine of 56.03, no, just the .3, sorry. And then I've got going uphill, CD sine 56.3. Okay, so from the Y equation, I'm going to get CD. I don't need CD, but I need him to, to go back up to this equation here. And so what do I get? I get 3606 times the sine of 56.3 equals, okay, and then minus a thousand equals, and then divided by the sine of 56.3. So I get a, a so CD, I get 1165.4 pounds. Okay, I don't need that one, but I got him. But I got a negative, so CD whoop, whoop, really goes the other way, doesn't he? Okay. Now, what do I do here? I, on this guy, I can either take CD in the X direction. Now he's negative. I can make that guy a negative. Or I could have left him a positive and plugged in negative 1165. Either way. But I just fixed it, and I put a negative in front of him because this component is now going in the negative direction. Okay, and CD is 1165. So 1165 times the cosine of 56.3. 56.3 equals, okay, 646, so negative answer equals 646, and then subtract from that 3606 times the cosine of 56.3 degrees, and that equals 1354, so CI But again, I got a negative for CI. So CI is actually in compression. 
I got a negative for that guy when I did my system solver, okay? Not system solver, I put it in my calculator. Okay, so we use both methods. We use the method of joints and the method of sections to attack that problem, okay? So, if I'm going to give you a test, that's what I'd put on it right there. Because I can get, I can test you on both those things. Do you understand it? Okay, that's all trusses. On to the next thing. Frames next. Stay tuned.